Sup my friends and welcome back to the Dragon Slayer. This is the Taoist Dragon, but you can call me Toasty and welcome back to the messenger. We have to deliver this message, which we don't even know what it is. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing. Oh, no. Wow. Three seconds in and I'm already dead. Just die, you freaking jerk. It's all your fault that I'm dead. And it's not because I'm not skilled at video games. Yeah, uh, no. We all oh know the ice is a slipper slippery. <laughs> the slipper slippery? Eh, whatever. Uh. Whoop. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Jeez of weasum. Um. Um, can I get over there? Alright, I forgot that I have the grappling hook like this. Let's see. I don't think I can get over there. I'll probably just die, so I'm not even going to try. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! There's an ice golem! There's a bird! And, uh, well, they're all dead. What the heck was I trying to say? I've totally forgotten. Well, that is just great. <laughs> Alright, the messenger. There is a, a joke that uh somebody made like around the first one about the message being i have forgotten what they said and i'm sorry i'm gonna have to look that up and put it in this episode but we're near the mountain summit which means that we're like at the end of our adventure which means we're probably to the 16-bit era uh what was i saying right my joke was the message that we're delivering is do you like me Y N. <laughs> so silly. All right. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as the heat. Their elders spoke of a lush grove, safe and abundant, and with comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was the grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm, which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt what the village called the Trek. Was it the Star Trek? <laughs> they would scout all the way to the grove and confirm its existence, then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the Trek before them, they sadly and predictably never came back. Over the following decades, the boy grew up with only one goal in mind, to take on the trek himself and find his parents alive at the grove or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have simply been ill-prepared, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents when they left for the trek, then set off to find, uh, set off for his own attempt. The hailstorm's bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into his bones. After days of walking through the storm without realizing it, it was just a metaphor playing out in his troubled young adult mind, he stumbled upon a no pun until it intended chilling sight. Ah! The grammar in that! He stumbled upon a no pun intended chilling sight. There we go. Uh, his parents frozen solid in a block of ice. Mm hmm. The shock was so strong, he remained there. Cursing, pondering, and cursing again, until the cold took him to become part of the ice block. The end. I mean, wasn't he kind of looking for that? What's to be surprising there, huh? What? What do you mean, what? No moral? Or at least a proper ending? Sometimes stories can be harsh, and might just be the very message they meant to convey about life. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers, as long as they ring true to you. That's a good thing, yeah. <laughs> a good thing, that's not what I meant to say. That is a good message. Because this guy is always going on about, like, morals. Like, what's the moral to this? What's the moral to that? A moral to the story is your own takeaway for it. And yes, there's some stories that are built around a certain message. And this one, it was just like this guy, he trained, he thought he was ready, all that good stuff. He still wasn't. Even though like, he was like, oh, okay, I might find my parents in a block of ice. He just wasn't truly ready to face that. But 
would any of us be truly ready to face that? So, maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. I don't think so. It's a good story about not wandering out in the cold. And it just may be the case for you it was. <laughs> or you could consider the implications of our adventurer being five years older than his parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors, realizing they are actually younger than you? Oh wow! Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, those you appear to be like, as those you aspire to be like. A harsh reality indeed. You thought they knew it all, had it all figured out, that they were centered and f filled with purpose. Yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever took for granted and used for stability, physically crystallized, yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. Had they really found inner peace already when they, when you knew them, meaning you were the one who missed the mark, or were they simply excellent actors? Hmm. Food for thought, huh? Yes, that's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared but one angle. I love this guy. This freaking shopkeeper is my favorite character. He's so cool and intriguing, and his stories are the best. Great, so now we have to deal with snow. Yeah! Whoa, I don't know how that worked, and I don't know how I took damage there, but I will take the fact that I didn't get a... Uh, hurt! Ah! I'm fine! Okay, so we need to be careful here. Yeah! I'm pretty sure... Is this the way we're supposed to go? Maybe. I'm not going to risk this freaking things again. Ah! Ah! I messed that up. Ouch! I keep getting hurt. I don't know what to do. I don't like this at all. Just die. That little demon dude was a freaking jack wagon. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to shoot you from a mile away and you're not going to be able to do anything about it. Ah! <laughs> Maybe if I was better at this game. Like, I was just thinking about that last boss. Ah! Freaking jerk! Come on! Jump! Thank you! <laughs> ah! No! Uh... Ouch! <laughs> I hate you! Just let me get your butt! You freaking jerk! Ah! Oh! Ah! Come on! Oh, yeah! There we go! Ah, freaking an annoying spot, but that was the whole purpose. Enemy placement. <laughs> to make a challenge. I will admit, that was a very challenging enemy placement. But I don't like it, because it was a very annoying enemy placement, too. I don't die. I don't like any of this. Ah! It's fine. <laughs> Gosh darn it! I didn't let go of the A button! So I don't know why I fell. That was stupid. No, I'm taking... I'm taking what's mine, which is the money in this case. Nope, leave me alone, you bird. Whee! There. <laughs> what? What the... D ah! I don't like this stage. This is my least favorite stage. Yep. Let it be on record that... Uh, no! What the heck? Alright, well we're back here again. Let's not just randomly hit my foot on the spikes and die. Even though I got some, like, health, so... We're all good. We're all... How did any of that work? I don't know, but I'll take it. Ah oh, no, I've been hurt because I forgot. I forgot things. Ah, I hate this level. I really do, but I think it's the implication that it's supposed to be the last level. So like, it's supposed to be hard, but we all know it's not. We're only halfway through this game. Ah, because it's supposed to be the 16 bit. And we haven't gotten there. Hey, that looks like the shopkeeper over to the left, that statue. My nose is itchy. Oh no, I can't smash this. 
ice things. Now what am I supposed to do? I'm stuck. And times like these, the only thing I can do is bounce. Okay. Oh yeah! No! Okay, get him! Ouch! Get him! Oh, get him! Get, get him! Get him! Okay, I got hurt. That's lame! This whole game's lame and it's stupid and I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Ouch! Gosh darn it! I need to keep a cool head. That's my biggest issue right now. So I'm not... I, I double jumped so I would glide. Uh, don't, don't die. Oh, now I have like, not full life. I guess those things don't give you full life. They just give you lots of life. Oh yeah, I don't even care about you, Golem. Like, you can live your life in peace. You're fine. Right now, I just need to get money, because I have not been getting money. I just need 400, and I'll be able to afford Corbel's thing. Which we're so close, but since we keep dying... <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, 400. How much is this meditation? 550. Next thing we're getting is Corbel. Because, yeah, I don't want to die, but let's face it, I die. I mean, the original Ninja Gaiden was hard, too. Ninja Gaiden is a series that is known for being hard. Great. Should I go left or right? Well, I'm already to the left, so let's check it out. Now I want to check out the right. See what's over yonder. Here we go. Oh, money. It's a good thing that I checked out over to the right, because I would have messed this sick stash of money. Heck, look. I have enough to get Corbel's thing. Corbel, yeah, now his fees reduced by 50%. Great, I love it. No, seriously, I love it, because I... I don't know what it is. I'm the best at video games, but this this game, you know, it gives me... No, I, I didn't... I did not glide anymore. <laughs> ah, like the A button is a... A little weirdly sensitive. It's probably just not my control. No, but it's probably my controller, not just the game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But still, there's some things like I wish that I could just hold the A button to go back into gliding again instead of having to like I don't know. Whoop. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ah no! Oh no! 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 no. Okay, we're, uh, what are we supposed to do? Oh, literally this. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I mean, this feels like a final stage. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but we know it's not it. We have to go to the future, the 16-bit air. Come on. I mean, serious with this garbaggio? Don't- No! I'm stuck! I can't even use my climbing claws, but let's face it, the climbing claws got me in more trouble. And I forgot that I can just hit these guys' projectiles. I mean, I can hit all projectiles, and I need to remember that. It's that ninja guy again. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? We're not even going to deal with you! Just leave us alone! Because, yeah, you have a right to live your life for something. I mean, probably not. Uh, no, 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 no. Come back up here so I can smite thee. No? Well, fine then. Be a jerk. Uh, what am I supposed to do? This? Well, yeah, there we go. That was defisico. Defisico? I don't even know what that means. And I don't want to. And now I can glide and fly like this. That was easy. And now I can do this. Like this. Haha! -ha. <laughs> this game got very easy all of a sudden. Wait a minute, what's over this way? Power shard. What's so hard about this one? Uh, uh ouch. 
Uh, the fact there's the little thingamadoo over here! No, no, no! We're fine. That was like the easiest power shard yet. No, no. I, I hit it! I just didn't do it good enough. I hate it when like I hit it a fraction too late and then the game's like, nah. Because <laughs> I feel like I get it right on the mark. Uh, 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 uh. I don't like how there's just a abyss there. Come on! Like, seriously? Um, no, um, no. Whew. This is scarifying! Get it! Get it, get it, get it, get it! There we go. I don't even care about the little green guy down there. You know? <laughs> I'm at a point where I'll let bad guys live just because I don't want to die. The main goal is to not die, right? C come on. <laughs> It's weird. I honestly would almost prefer just a double jump. A double jump and the hold the A to glide. And I would be fine. You know? Oh, no, 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 I didn't hit the Y button. Why did that happen? It made me throw a shuriken with no purpose. Now what? Just gotta wait here, I guess. We dun 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 Yay! Uh oh, it's a Medusa head. I mean, they're not actually Medusa heads. They're just like the Medusa heads from Castlevania, though. So that's why I call them the Medusa heads. Dun dun. I thought there was a Medusa head over there too. Apparently not. Well, I will say this game is really thought out in terms of making its challenges. It uses the rules that is established to make it so it's like, this is, this is tough. Boss fight. Why am I even running in? What? The guy's not here. He's not here. That's scary. Is he going to be my boss? All right, old man. I like you, but if I have to kill you, I have to. Oh, he made it. Does this mean we can do the thing? Keep your hood on, shorty. He still needs to pass the final test. But I want to do the thing. No, no. We need to see how attuned to the scroll he really is. Great. Take it away, prophet. Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, messenger. Please hold the scroll aloft, so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. Okay, here you go. Do you like me, YN? <laughs> da, da, da. See? I told you he was slow. Yeah, you weren't kidding. What? Ahem. Please hold the scroll higher than that, so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. <laughs> Ding! What's going on here? Laser beams and lightning and snow. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Jeebus. What am I fighting? What is this thing? What the heck's going on? It's a castle. He, he made it. Of all would-be messengers. Him? Oh, was that the short one? Please pull this off. I really want to do the thing. <laughs> Ahem. A gauntlet awaits you, messenger. Should you survive, find us the top, at the top of the Tower of Time. Nice. Dot, dot, dot. Well, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I like you, too. Was that the boss? I was expecting an epic... Whoa, jeez. What the heck's happening? We're getting transported and teleported and things and now we're at the tower of time that was an intense level i hope you've enjoyed this bit of the dragon's treasure pretend to like is a mic and drop it if you haven't already appreciate if you show that sub and bell button some love and don't forget sharing is caring stay beautiful